Hi everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This week I'll be tackling this dresser that I got for $30 on Facebook Marketplace. As you can see it is quite dirty and there is evident water damage everywhere. This looks like a sort of veneer, but I'll discover later that it is just a faux finish. I like the color scheme though. The drawers are filthy and the bottoms are bent downwards. Rose. One of the legs was attached in the wrong direction. There are cracks and gouges everywhere. Well, come with me to see what I can do with it. I was pleasantly surprised to find all the original brass hardware. I'll clean it and reuse them. I'll start by cleaning the piece completely because it is quite dirty and dusty. This helps me to examine every inch of it and see the problems it may have. These things prevented the last drawer from closing properly. Then I cleaned everything with some dish soap and water, and then rinsed everything with clean water. Gross. The next day I started disassembling the drawers and taking out the hardware. Hi Milo! Up to this moment I still thought there was some kind of veneer on the drawers and on the top of the piece. So I started sanding with 120 grit sandpaper. However, I soon realized that it was a sort of faux effect done with varnish. I also discovered that the front of the drawers are made of Oregon pine or Douglas fir, which is abundant here in Chile. However, the rest of the piece was made of simple pine. If you like this video so far, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. It is free and you will help me a lot. If you want to support my channel more actively, you can do it via buy me a coffee, or through my Amazon wishlist, or through the super thanks button. I always feel your love and support, and Milo and I appreciate it. Well, I enjoy sanding, so that's why I feel satisfaction when I see and feel smooth wood. This is one of the drawer's bottom panel. You can see that it is bent, and so filthy. This is water damage. I could use oxalic acid to try and remove these stains, but I plan to turn them upside down and use the bottom instead. So they will not be bent downwards, but upwards, if that makes sense. As I discovered that this is a faux finish, I will start with 80 grit. I'll see if I can save the top.
and there are oil stains and gouges. I will not be able to save it. Besides, it is not worth the effort, I mean, economically. The back panel is bent outwards, and it isn't properly attached. I will also turn it over and use the interior part outside. These runners protrude from the inside. That's what prevents the back panel from being flush. I'll have to trim them. I need to remove all the runners that keep that crack open. And of course, they are held in place with nails. I hate nails in furniture. I'll use screws to attach them back. Hi Milo, beautiful. I love you so much. This dog is so intelligent, he somewhat knows that people like him and enjoy watching him on video. He's so cute. Using an artist brush, I glued those two wood panels to get rid of that separation. I want to thank and send love to my loyal and wonderful members. If you want to be more involved in my personal life and want to enjoy special posts, videos and perks and Milo's pictures and activities, you can consider joining this channel. Milo and I will be thrilled to have you in our community. I then clamped and let it dry overnight. Meanwhile, I started removing those little metal feet. I will have to disassemble both parts of the base. On the back one I need to glue one of the feet correctly, and the front one is bent upwards and prevents the drawer from closing well, so I'll have to flip it upside down. Before working on that I'll cover all the imperfections with some wood filler. Although popsicle sticks are really handy, I need to spread this putty with a putty knife. And here's a trick. If you have a putty knife with dry wood filler or bondo, just send it. You'll have a clean putty knife in no time. I usually take scoops of the wood filler with a popsicle stick and then spray it with my putty knife. I 
I also started cleaning those runners. Goodbye, nails. When the wood filler was dry, I sanded everything smooth. Then it was time to drill out the legs. I'll reattach them with glue and screws. And I'll attach the slats with glue and pocket holes. I countersank the holes for my screws and attached the runners with glue and screws. The next day, I started cleaning the drawers. I also take the inside to avoid stain spills. For this project, I only wanted to use what I had in stock, so I used the same stain in Early American that I have used in previous projects. And the wood got that beautiful color. I also tried to highlight the joiner with some stain. I would eventually stain the sides as well because the contrast between the Douglas fir and the pine was too much. The top was some millimeters apart on the right side, so I drilled a pilot hole, countersank it, and used the screw to join both parts. Perfect. Here you see me staining the sides of the drawers. And it was time to cut the excess of those long runners. It was time to paint. I mixed some blue chalk paint with some blackboard latex. I want this color to be quite dark, like a midnight blue.
I started applying it with a brush and then smoothing it with a roller. I decided to keep the color scheme of the dresser, so I painted the dividers in this dark blue. While the first coat dried, I started sealing the drawers. As always, I'll use water-based poly in satin finish. I turned the dresser upside down and started painting the base. Now all the feet are in their right position. I'll give the base two coats and I'll seal it with poly before turning it back again. A couple of days later, I decided to attach these felt pads to the legs. Although they are too big, I'll have to cut one in four. I sand it lightly with 180 grit before the second coat. After checking that the bottom panels will work on the drawers, I started painting them with white paint. However, I soon ran out of paint. I lightly sanded before sealing the piece. I used the same poly, it's my favorite. I lightly sanded the painted parts on the back panel. And then I started cleaning the hardware. I used this cream cleaner and some steel wool. And voila, so pretty. I bought this white paint in matte white. I gave each board three light coats. And it was time to reassemble the back panel but inside out, if it makes sense.
I gave the piece two coats of poly and three coats to the top and drawers. If you have seen my videos before, I never leave the back untouched. I think it is professional to paint or refinish the back. In this case, I painted it black. Now it was time to reassemble the drawers with the bottom panels upside down. Beautiful. I treated all the untouched wood with natural beeswax. What's going on, Milo? After some minutes, I removed the excess with a microfiber cloth. This wax is a beautiful finish and smells so well. It was finally time to reinstall the hardware. All the interior was waxed. Do you remember that dirty dresser? Here it is now. That's what I call a glow up. It is so beautiful. I'd love to keep it for myself, but I have no space. Oh my God. Please leave me a comment about this renovation. I think I'm in love. I hope you liked this week's video. Here's another one to continue watching. See you in the next one.